Good morning, y'all. Today we are reading The Mystery Behind the Ancient Ones, which is in the Reading and the Content Area Social Studies Teacher Book published by McGraw-Hill Glencoe. So let's get started. This passage mostly focuses on A, the Four Corners area, B, what we know and don't know about the Anasazi, C, Anasazi buildings, or D, what the word Anasazi means. The Anasazi disappeared before A. AD 1, B. AD 13, C. AD 1750, or D. AD 1900. <clears throat> Four, the thing that the Anasazi most likely traded were sheep, building materials, beads and skins, pottery baskets, and woven goods. Number five, the term four corners is explained by a. Describing its mountains, B. Telling where it is, C. Narrating a story about it, or D. Summarizing its history. Aver means to assert to be true, avoid, provide a written history of, or construct. <clears throat> Alright, let's scoot to the passage and question one. Choose markup. Fantastic. So, main idea, the sentence that is too broad to be the main idea, and the sentence that is too narrow. Up here, we'll highlight the mystery of the ancient ones, and we can label that as our heading. And this is a nonfiction piece. And let's go on, <clears throat> excuse me, and number our paragraphs. This is a sad looking three. All right. The mystery of the prehistoric Native American people known as the Anasazi begins with their very name because no evidence exists telling what these people called themselves. Please highlight here. Highlight Anasazi is a Navajo word meaning ancient ones. And then there's the word Aver that we were talking about earlier. And most Navajo Aver that the word means ancient enemies, while some translate the word to mean ancient ancestors. So this Aver word can mean ancient enemies or ancient ancestors. The Hopi word for these early people is Hai Sat Sinom, which means those who came before. And they did come before having lived in the southwest United States before AD 1 to AD 1275. The deep canyons, rock palisades, high mesa, and open desert of the Four Corners area where Colorado, Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico converge were home to this remarkable group of people. All right, and I believe that goes with the question that we highlighted. The dramatic remains of tens of thousands of Anasazi rock and mud dwellings document their building techniques. I believe we had a question about to do with building techniques. They construct in masonry homes that vary from simple underground pit structures to large multi-story villages. We know that the population grew and clustered in small villages. We suspect that cli climatic changes in conflict with neighboring groups caused occasional shifts in settlement. The Anasazi were highly skilled potters. Beautifully decorated bowls, ladles, and mugs have been discovered in Anasazi ruins. The Anasazi also produced fine baskets, ornaments, woven goods, and tools, and had a trade network extending to central Mexico. We also know that they hunted game, gathered wild plants, grew corn, beans, and squash. But archaeologists still puzzle over the unsolved riddles of the Anasazi. Why, by AD 1300, had they abandoned the Four Corners area? And an even greater question, where did they go? Only time and further archaeological research can solve this mystery of the ancient ones. 
All right, so once you are finished highlighting and annotating, I need you to answer these questions and please post your answer choices on SchoolNet. If you have any questions, as always, please email me.